Hi folks, René Molenaar here for GNS 3 volt and I want to show you how to solve the hot standby routing protocol lab. So how are we going to do this? Look at this topology that we have. On the left side we have a host router and on the right side there's an ISP router and New York, New Jersey and LA. Those are the routers we are going to configure for HSRP. Um, so let's just take a look at the goal that we have, the tasks. So let's start with this one. Um, HSRP and the standby group number one. Uh, make sure you are at the interface level. IP. You need to specify a virtual IP. And we'll take this address. Like this. Virtual MAC address. You can do standby one MAC. There you go. Um, let's see what else that we have. New Jersey should be the active router. And when it fails, um, LA should take over. Let's copy and paste those lines to the other routers that I have. Here we go. That's it. Okay, so New Jersey should be active and when it fails then LA should take over. And we can do this by playing with the priority. So let's make sure that New Jersey has the highest priority. And LA we are going to give a priority of 190. And 180 for New York. Now the higher the priority, uh, the better. Um, what else do we have? Hello packets. Every 7 seconds. And we need to specify the hold down time as well. Copy and paste it. There we go. Make sure the router with the highest priority will always be the active router. Uh, that's an interesting one. You need to configure preempt for this. There we go. So that's preempt. Authentication, and you can see because of the preempt that something has changed here. This is what you can do for authentication. There we go. When the HSRP active router uh, fast Ethernet interface, interface goes down, make sure it's no longer the active HSRP router. And we can do this by interface tracking. So 
So I can do track object one interface and you can specify the IP information or the line protocol. I'll just do the line protocol like this. And if we go back to our standby group, um, you can use standby track and okay so you can you can do two things here you can track the object number i just created or you can also specify the fast ethernet interface here um, it doesn't matter that much but let's use the object that i just created decrement um, let's pick number 11 because the priority will be 189, which is lower than New Jersey, I think. Which one was it? Let's go. Okay, I took the wrong router here. Uh, that's okay. Here we go. So the priori priority of New Jersey is 200. If this link goes down, it will decrement by 11. So it's 189, which is lower than, I believe, router LA, which had 190. Yes, it has a priority of 190. So router LA will take over as the active uh, gateway. And let's see what else that we have. Configure the virtual IP as the default gateway on the host router. Okay, we can do that. And let's see if it's actually working what we just configured here. So I disabled IP routing as you can see. There's no routing table. We'll do it like this. Let's take a look at the ISP here and we'll just try to ping one of those IP addresses okay so you can see that it's working we'll do a show standby here you can see the virtual IP address, the active virtual MAC, which is this router over here. This is the active router at this moment. Now let's see what happens if I shut down that interface. see that's not I should use not this router I believe we did this one There we go. So you can see the tracking over here. Line protocol going down. You can also see that the group state is going from active to speak here on this router. And here you can see what's going on. So the priority is 200, but right now it's 189 because the interface went down. 
so it's going from speak to standby and router LA as you can see is going from standby to active and you can see for our host it doesn't matter it's still uh, still working so that's basically uh, that's basically it. And if okay, if you want, you can try this one out. You gotta be careful though that um, make sure that the router, which is the active forwarder, make sure that it does have connectivity. So make sure that if an interface is going down, that um, that router is no longer the active forwarder. Um, otherwise you might have uh, trouble that um, your router is the active forwarder but it, uh, it doesn't have any way of uh, delivering the packets so that's something you have to be careful of but uh, that's it this is how you can configure hot standby routing protocol thanks for watching and till next time